everyone welcome to our robotics lab in today's class we have learned how to assemble a advanced driving base robot we have used different types of components such as brick smart hub which has six input and output ports which is used to connect motors and sensors we have a motor we have wheels two wheels and we also have beams Hello everyone, I'm Ananya from Grade 7D and I'll show up with Gosh Robo 7A. Today we have assembled the model Free Kick. This comprises of the components Lego Technic frames, Lego Technic bricks, and Lego Technic beams, etc. Now I would like to invite my friend to speak more about this model. In this activity, we will learn how the simulator works. We will learn how each component works in detail to begin. This launcher is the main component comprises of several connections of beams, springs and bush connectors to keep it down so that and to prevent it from falling apart. And these are the two goals so that we can uh, to experiment whether the ball launches into it or not. Now we'll experiment with these three bulkheads. These two slopes are each, this is 45 degrees and this is 25. This is the main piece of the bulkhead. Now let's test them all. Let's try this for, and uh, let's try the red brick. As you can see, the full force of the springs have launched the ball into the ball, but it hasn't launched into the second flight of stairs. Let's try that with the yellow 45 degree slope. As you can see, the ball only hit the rims of the goals, so this one has failed. Now let's finally try the 25 degree purple stone. Oh, As you can see, the 25 degree purple slope has made it. The experiment was successful. Even soccer players use this technique while kicking the balls. We are enjoying a robotics class a lot. We are learning how to build different types of models. And we have also learned about the physics, about the flight changing part of the ball, as we have demonstrated right now. And not only the free kick model, we also have learned plenty models in our robotics class as well. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everybody. I am Dheeraj from grade 7B. I am Joshita from grade 6A. And I am Sahana from grade 7A. Today we are going to do the activity Intensity of the LED. In this, we learned how the amount of current passing through the LED can affect the brightness of the LED. In this, we have used the breadboard jumper wires, Arduino Uno R4 microcontroller, LED and a 220 OMHS resistor. Now the resistor resists the excess amount of heat flowing which can lead to damage or overheating. Here after we enter the code, we are connecting the Arduino and the laptop with the help of a USB-C cable. Now after we upload the code, we need to open the serial monitor and type any number between 0 and 10 because this is the only limit we have kept for this project. Now, now I am entering the value 5. As you can see the LED blinks at a uh, lower rate because the electricity flowing through the bulb is less. Now when I am entering the value 10, you can see that the LED is glowing with a full power because the electricity flowing through the bulb is full. Through this simple experiment, we were introduced to the field of electronics. We were truly amazed and enjoyed it a lot. We are eagerly waiting for a lot more. 